So what do you think about this? You think your dad's crazy? Yeah, but he's always been crazy, so it's fine. <laughs> we'll be out there on the water with you, making sure everything's all right with you, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we need a ton. We just no. need enough, you know, for a point of reference. Yeah. Uh, and right now you can see all the way over to the, uh, the south pier there. Yeah. And uh, if you've got boats around you, at least this flotilla of like five boats, yeah. um, and they're spread out, that's all he's really going to need. Yeah. So we want to get life jacket on. Well, we're going to get this one on first. Okay. Steve's a very good sailor, so we're pretty sure that you know once he's on the boat, he's got full controls and everything is working. He shouldn't have any problem sailing. What we're sailing. worried about is like the little details of yeah. you know his arms have to be in pretty specific yes. uh, spots on his chair to be able to control them. Yes. Um, and he you know chokes easily sometimes. Yes. So it's just yes. those little things that we're worried about. That Absolutely. Could screw okay. It up, so. Pretty comfortable? Okay, good. Come on. And how's the height? Height's okay? Things are really clear. This might be our window. Stop it. He wants to circumnavigate yeah. Death's door by himself, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know it. <laughs> He's insane. Yeah. Both the cells are going to move at the same time, so if you just trim to the chip, the main just right. works in unison with it, so. Give us a little bit of trim there, please, Steve. Thank you. So we're going to be bearing away when we clear this break ball here, Steve. So you're going to have to give us some ease, but not just yet. You can see the telltales, I assume, so you can uh, just trim away, mate. So if you want to uh, ease the sails a bit for us, Steve. There you go, a bit more. Perfect, a bit more. Thank you. Turn to port a little bit for me on the ram, so I can get the ram on it. Oh, other way, Steve, sorry, my bad. Other button. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. It's all you, mate. You're staring. You're staring. So when you're ready, so the left hand bite switch is to turn the bow to port. There you go. Now it's center right now. It's center. So a bit more to port. And we're going to head over towards the lighthouse. There you go. Excellent. Then don't forget the trim. And there goes the drone. Right there in the gray boat behind us. Next summer. Yeah. I have no idea what it is. Well, I think the macro is really. So, or, uh, we clear the, the brake ball, Steve. Do you want to put it on standby mode so you have complete control of the tiller again? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, we did it, folks. <laughs> we did it. Team effort. And the signal still is head to win, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty amazing. There he is, sailing on his own. He's got these wires all around the inside of his diaphragm. Sure. And when you turn the box on, um, it sends uh, impulses to different areas. Sure. So it'll that be... Track, yeah. yeah, and it's actually, that's one of the uh, biggest things that's helped his breathing. See you. No, just getting the autopilot to work with the bite switches, I think, was the biggest hassle for us, but uh, that was it. Sail trim looks good. Course heading is steady. Nice job. Okay. All right, we're going to try to get some more wind for you guys. Um, he was diagnosed in 05, so um, like 2000, the end of 2006, 2007 was less than much improved visibility just a couple yeah. hundred yards west of where you are. Much improved. Oh my God.
this sort of what you had in mind when you started putting this thing together? Uh, yeah, it's like it's working uh, better than I could have expected right out of the box. Actually, no, it's working as I expected, right out of the box. <laughs> of course. No, it's good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 